back to basics. Ah, oh, the missing length of a right triangle. How would I do that? Pythagorean theorem, if I ever have to find the missing length of a right triangle, I do what's called the Pythagorean theorem, which states the following. A, which states the following. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where C has to always be my longest side, my hypotenuse, and A could be any of the legs, and B could be any of the legs. So looking at my picture, C is already C, so I'll call you A and I'll call you B. It doesn't matter which one's A or B as long as the longest side is C. That's a rhyme. Uh, so I got 21 squared. I got 20 squared and I got C squared. We're gonna use Siri a lot today, or at least uh, I'll use Siri to see if I have good connection in my classroom. I'm in my classroom right now, which is like a lead wall because there's like no signal. 21 squared is 441. I know you're 400. 21 raised to the second power is 441. Told you. Now, 21 squared was 100, 441, 20 squared is 400, because two squared is four, so 20 squared is two, you know, four with two zeros attached to it. Is C all by itself? No, but I have 441 and 400 being added right next to each other, so why don't we add them up? Makes sense to me. That's gonna equal C squared. Is C all by itself? No, what's in the way? Squared, how do I get rid of the squared? Square rooted, of course. What's the square root of 841? The square root of 841 is 29. Oh, on the dot. So my number is 29. My unit is kilometers. So that means my answer is 29 kilometers, which makes sense. If 29 is supposed to be longer than 20 and 21 and 29 is supposed to be a shortcut, that seems to make sense. The numbers match up. The numbers match up. Find the missing length of the triangle. Okay, well, it's a right triangle. So I'm gonna write out a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Doesn't matter which one's A or B as long as the longest side is C. So you have to be C and I'll call you A because you're already called B. Well, this one's gonna be slightly different. Not hard, but different. A is nine squared. B is B. And C is 15 squared. Just plugging them in. 9 times 9 is 81, plus b squared equals 225, 125. No, 225, I was right. Should have gone with my gut. Is b all by itself? No, what's in the way? 81, anything else? Squared. So which one should I get rid of first? The 81, minus 81, minus 81, cross u out b squared equals 225 minus 81, which is going to be 146. No, it's not. It's 144. I, I looked at that and I knew something wasn't right. Again, I should have gone with my gut. And when my gut says something, you gotta go with it. <laughs> It's B all by itself? No. What's in the way? Squared. How do I get rid of this squared? Square root it. Let's go. A, let's go. B equals 12. 12 what? 12 mm Four millimeters. Uh, which makes sense. I mean, according to the picture, it looks like it's going to be bigger than 9, smaller than 15. So is 12. Yeah. Yeah, let's do more. See how many mistakes I can make for this one. Well, this is plastered on top of a coordinate plane. And it's a right triangle yet again, because these guys are parallel. So I'll write out a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Doesn't matter which one's a or b, as long as the longest side is c. The longest side is already c, so I'll call you a and I'll call you b. So a, according to what I wrote out, is going to be 8 squared. B, according to what I wrote out, is going to be 6 squared, and C is C. 8 squared is 64, 
6 squared is 36. C squared is C squared. 64 plus 36. <gasps> 100. Yum. Is C all by itself? No. What's in the way? Squared. How do I get rid of squared? Square root it. Square root. Square root. Cross you out. C equals 10. 10 what? Boxes. Units. Squares. Doesn't matter. If I don't have a word, I don't need to write out a word. You can say the word units, and you'll still be right. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little heads off. Oh, my gosh. What is this? It looks like a block of cheese that's pink without edibility. I don't even know if that's a word. Well, if you're X, I don't know how I'm going to find you, but you're going to be the same as that. Oh, <laughs> I see what I'm supposed to do. It gives me a 3D shape, and I'm supposed to use the information that I have and find the missing side by pretending it's all a triangle and it's all connected. That makes sense. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It doesn't matter which one is A or B as long as the longest side is C. So I'll call X C, I'll call 14 A, and I'll call 48 B. So I have 14 squared plus 48 squared equals x squared. 14 squared is 196. What's 48 squared? 48 raised to the second power is 2,304. Look at that. Uh, I know something magical is going to happen just by looking at those numbers. Well, look at the two numbers on the left. They're being added to each other, so just add them. No. No way. Equals x squared. Is x all by itself? No. What's in the way? Squared. How do I get rid of the squared? Square root it. You know, the square root of 25 is 5. So the square root of 25 hundreds is like, 5 squared of 100 is 10. Just put a zero there. Let me see. Inches. And we'll throw the x over here. x equals 50 inches. Okay. Find the missing length of the triangle. Oh, I have a dot here and a dot here. And it tells me that I need to find the missing length. So that's going to be C because it's going to be the longest side. I'll call you A and I'll call you B. A bunch of problems on uh, coordinate planes. I wonder if that's going to be like a topic. I don't know. A squared hot topic plus B squared equals C squared. Hot topics. Uh, it doesn't matter which one A or B is as long as the longest side is C. So I called A8 because they rhyme. I called B6 because they don't. And C is C. There's no name or no letter for C. 8 squared is 64. 6 squared is 36. 64 plus 36 is 100. Is C all by itself? No. What's in the way? Squared. What do you do? Square root. And we did a problem just like this already, 10. Now, I'm not going to put C equals. Why? Because I'm just being asked to find the missing length of the triangle. So if someone's like, hey, how far did you walk to school? You're not going to be like C equals 10. You're going to say 10 blocks. Well, in my case, I'm going to say 10 units because it gave me the word units and I'm very picky and I'm very peculiar. Okay, so I was able to use that information to find that dotted line, which happened to be on a coordinate plane. Oh, look, a line on the coordinate plane. Well, I'm no genius, but it looks to me that if I'm going to compare that to the last problem and I had to find a line on the coordinate plane, I was able to take like other lines and pretend that those are the sides of a triangle. And I had that here also. So why don't I just do that again? Why don't I just turn this guy right here into a triangle? Oop, oop. 
And then I'm going to literally, and you're not going to be able to see me do it, but I'm literally going to go from one of the points and go one block, two blocks, three blocks. So I'll do that in a different color so you actually see what I do. It's like when we do the slope and we count up and over. It's the same thing. I have one block, two block, three block, four block, five block, six block, seven block, eight block, nine block, ten block. And then this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I don't know is C. So I have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Computer's very laggy all of a sudden. I'll call you A because why not? It doesn't matter which one's A or B as long as along the side is C. So A is 6, 6 squared. B is 10, 10 squared. C is, I don't know, 36 plus a hundo is going to equal C squared. Right next to each other, I have 36 plus 100, so let's add them. Is C all by itself? No. What's in the way? Squared. How do I get rid of squared? Square root it. I don't know what the square root of 136 is, but I know it's less than 12. What's the square root of 136? Just a sec. Here are the last 100 games for the Rangers. What's the square root of 136? The square root of 136 is approximately 11.6619. So we'll say 11.7 because two sixes in a row makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Units. The only thing that I care about is the number because I don't have to call it C if I don't want to. So if I'm asked to find this, the distance between two points, you can turn it into a triangle. There's another method called the distance formula, but I hate it. Mr. Richard, Mr. Richard owns an orchard that has a rectangular fence. The orchard is 36 yards long, as you can see from the picture, and 18 yards wide, as you can see from the picture. If he walks across the diagonal length of the orchard, how much distance would he cover? Okay, well, I need to find the diagonal. And if I know you're 36, and I know if this is 18, you're going to be 18, I have to find the longest side of a right triangle, Pythagorean theorem. I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If I call u a and u b, I'll have 36 squared plus 18 squared equals c squared. What's 36 squared? 36 oh, raised to the second power is 1,296. What's 18 to the second power? 344? Mm -hmm. 18 raised to the second power is 324. What's 1,002? What's, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> What's 1,296 plus 324? That would be 1,620. Is C all by itself? No. What's in the way? Oh, you know what's going to happen. Just square root everything. What's the square root of 1,620? Please be nice. Please the be nice. The square root please of 1,620 nice. is approximately 40.2492. What did it say? 40.2. So we'll put 40.2 yards. He would walk 40.2 yards. Lots well, of Pythagorean theorem. Still got more. 
Is the triangle a right triangle? Well, if I have right triangles, I always deal with a squared, b squared, and c squared. So what I need to do is I need to label these triangles c, a, and b. doesn't matter which one you label c or a or b as long as the longest side is c. I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is 36. b is 27. I'm just going to do a little bit of math and see what happens. Okay. What's 36 squared? 36 raised to the second power is 1,296. I think I did that one before. I don't know. What's 27 squared? 27 raised to the second power is 729. Okay. What's 45 squared? 45 raised to the second power is 2,025. Hmm. Two numbers over there being added together. What's 1,296 plus 729? It's 2,025. <gasps> this adds up to 2,025. So this is what we have to do. If I ask you if something is a right triangle or not, you call the longest side C and you call the other two sides A and B. It doesn't matter as long as the longest side C. You do the math, and if the left side checks out with the right side, it's a yes. So looking at that triangle, you would have to be C, and you can be A, and you can be B. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I called A 8, so 8 squared. I called B 15 squared equals, I called C, 17 squared. 8 squared is 64. 15 squared is 200, 225. What's 17 squared? 17 raised to the second power is 289. 64 plus 245 is 289. And 289 equals 289. Is this a right triangle? Yeesh. 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 Long problem. Oh, where's my pictures? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Easy. You'll have to be C because you're the longest. I'll call you A and I'll call you B. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 14 squared plus 19 squared equals 23 squared. What's 19 squared? I know you're 196. 19 raised to the second power is 361. What's 23 squared? 23 raised to the second power is 529. 196 plus 361 is going to be 557 equals 59029. Uh, uh. Is this a right triangle? No, they are not. Fractions. Ugh, I hate fractions. Oh, I know what I'll do. Turn them into decimals. Nine tenths is nine tenths. Uh, one and a fifth is. 1.2. One and a half is 1.5. Uh, that's supposed to be a 5. And yet it's not. I'll call you A. I'll call you B. I'll call you C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If 9 squared is 81, then 0.9 squared is 0.81. If 15, or I'm sorry, if 12 squared is 144, then 1.2 squared is 1.44. And if 15 squared is 225, then 1.5 is 2.25. 81 plus 144 is 225. So 81 cents plus a dollar and 44 cents is 225 cents or 225. And look at that. It's a yesh. That's a bingo. 
Good movie. Not allowed to say the title of the movie because it's a curse word. Well, that's a lot of Pythagorean theorem. You should be well equipped. Bye.